284 aphorism organon of medicine fifth edition the action of a dose moreover does not diminish in the direct ratio of the quantity of material medicine contained in the dilutions used in homeopathic practice eight drops of the tincture of a medicine to the dose do not produce four times as much effect on the human body as two drops but only about twice the effect that is produced by two drops to the dose in like manner one drop of a mixture of a drop of the tincture with 10 drops of some un medicinal fluid when taken will not produce 10 times more effect than one drop of a mixture 10 times more attenuated but only about scarcely twice as strong an effect and so on in the same ratio so that a drop of the lowest dilution must and really does display still a very considerable action footnote supposing one drop of a fixture that contains 1 by 10 of a grain of medicine produces an effect equal to a one drop of more diluted mixture containing 1 by 100th of a grain of the medicine will only produce an effect equal to a by 2 if it contains 1 by 1000th of a grain of medicine about equal to a by 4 if contain 1 by 1000000000 of a grain of medicine it will produce an effect equal to a by 8 and thus it goes on the volume of the doses being equal with every perhaps more than quadratic diminution of the quantity of medicine the action on the human body will be diminished each time to only about one half i have very often seen a drop of the decilient full dilution of tincture of nux vomica produce pretty nearly just half as much effect as a drop of the quintillion full dilution under the same circumstances and in the same individual aphorism 284 is entirely omitted in the sixth edition and replaced by a new section as follows Besides the tongue, mouth, and stomach, which are most commonly affected by the administration of medicine, and the nose and respiratory organs are receptive of the action of medicines in fluid form by means of olfaction and inhalation through the mouth. But the whole remaining skin of the body, clothed with epidermis, is adapted to the action of medicinal solutions, especially if the inunction is connected with simultaneous internal administration. footnote the power of medicines acting upon the infant through the milk of the ma- mother or wet nurse is wonderfully helpful every disease in a child leads to the rightly chosen homeopathic medicines given in moderate doses to the nursing mother and so administered is more easily and certainly utilized by those new world citizens than is possible in later years since most infants usually have imparted to them sora through the milk of the nurse if they do not already possess it through heredity from the mother they may be at the same time possess it through heredity from the mother they may be at the same time protected antisorically by means of the milk of the nurse rendered medicinally in this manner but the case of the mothers in their first pregnancy by means of a mild antisorbic treatment especially with sulfur dynamization prepared according to the directions in this edition aphorism 270 is indispensable in order to destroy the sora that producer of the most chronic diseases which is given them hereditarily destroy it both within themselves and in the fetus thereby protecting posterity in advance this is true of pregnant women thus treated they have given birth to children usually more healthy and stronger to the astonishment of everybody a new confirmation of the great truths of the sora theory discovered by me